Good morning, guys. It's Thursday. Good morning, good morning. It is a beautiful day here in Illinois. A little overcast, but not too bad. It's not raining, so that's good. I'm about to head into Aldi. I'm going to show you and do a shop with me, which I've never done before. So I'm going to take you along. Um, I'm going off of the top of my head. I forgot my list at home, so um, I hope you enjoy, you know, actually going shopping with me. I spent... I'm all I'm not I spent I hope to spend under a hundred dollars so we shall see um I hope you enjoy it so we'll just jump right into this video um I didn't have a list but I kind of go I mean let's just face it the store is not big so um you just go aisle to aisle I think there's what maybe two four six maybe eight aisles maybe so I mean I really don't over shop here even in the fun aisle I don't shop here look at the size of the head of broccoli um but yeah I just mostly came here for produce um you know vegetables for our dinners and then um this stuff right here is for our guinea pig because you know he eats the best apparent apparently And of course my Hawaiian bread this stuff is the best guys you really need to try it if you haven't already I really wanted to move this cart out of the way but yeah so I just kind of dropped and then finally found my son's beef jerky you hear him turn the flash off Almost forgot my dog's pumpkin. But when I went back anyways at home, I ended up having like three or four cans, so no worries there. Actually, now that we've given him probiotics, um, he gets four pills with each meal. So he, he eats like brunch and then like a dinner basically and then we give him his pumpkin with his dry food and his stomach has been awesome so um let's hope it continues that way just wanted to show you guys a little bit of like the fall stuff they had and this is the fun aisle as i call it the one that tempts you but i usually don't get tempted too much the, i came for that literally I wanted I saw that these were $12.99 so I already had um, planned on getting cans of green no cans of corn from Walmart so I just grabbed green beans here I have tons of cream of mushroom at home like eight or nine cans so I made sure just to grab cream of chicken this time nope we were out of her brownies already she technically had one box left but I'll be honest I'll steal a package from her once or twice but yeah, they had like they hear you know they had like their fall and and um, their fall items. Nothing that like I don't know. I'm not enticed by fall stuff. Like this stuff right here. Ew! I would never ever try this stuff. But in case you know you guys are interested, thought I'd show you. You know, pumpkin spice apple cider. I don't know. I didn't even need much freezer stuff. I really decided to just shop mostly from Walmart this payday. Um, and I was going to do a Walmart pickup and I ended up actually deciding to go in person. 
Oh yeah, when I found out, when I was making my list at Walmart that the fries were over $3, I decided to get some at Target because they were under two bucks. Oh, I scored on the on my creamer here. Look how many are sugar-free hazelnut. Oh my goodness. And I actually had one left over, so now I have four at home. But that's okay. I'll drink it. I think OJ is ridiculously overpriced, even at Aldi. And I thought these were cool. I did not purchase them, but I thought I'd show you guys. Hey guys, I'm back from Aldi and Salvation Army. I'm gonna show you my quick haul. Um, like I said, um, I wanted to stay under 100 and I did. So let me show I got um, stuffed crust pepperoni pizza. We're going to have a pizza night. And we already have um, like this Alfredo pizza that my husband gets at, at Woodman. So um, I got this for my son. And if my old, oldest, if she's home. Eggs were still $1.29 a carton. And at Walmart, they're over $3. So um, yeah, I got these. I got two of these. I got chicken thighs for $9.29. There's, I think, 10 each. Or, I'm sorry, there's 10 inside, so I'm going to split them up um, for two dinners, so five and five. I got some orange juice since my oldest is coming home this weekend. I got three of my creamers. They had tons of them. I got two cans of pumpkin for the dog because we still had some. I got three cream of chickens, three cans of green beans, Two boxes of the brownies for my daughter. My son wanted the Aloha Teriyaki beef jerky, so I got him three. Um, fries at Walmart were over $3 a bag, so this was under two. So I got some crinkle cut. I got chicken patties this time instead of the chicken fillets. We never had this, so I thought I'd try. I got three bags of steamed corn, our favorite Hawaiian bread. I wanted corn on the cob, so I got some of these. Look at the size of this broccoli. I got two things of broccoli. Um, I got romaine hearts and spinach for the guinea pig. I got cauliflower. Um, we're having bacon cheeseburgers, so I got some lettuce. And then this is the inflatable that I took home. It's only $12.99. How cute is that? So... Yes, I spent $95, so I was very, very excited to do that, and I didn't go to Target, but I did spend $46 at Salvation Army for my daughter. I'm going to go show you guys that real quick. Let me um, sort it out. Okay, here is the Salvation Hall. So it's, I told you, she has to dress like, well, she's dressed like a Hollywood actress, so I got this pretty dress look it's like shimmering and look has this like I don't know what this is but this thing that goes over you know the straps and it is a size 10 so it might be a little bit big on her but we'll make it work and this was $8.99 and then I saw this dress and I just thought it was pretty it was $6.99 Look how pretty it is. So, uh, I don't know. She could wear it to Christmas. But you know, people wear blue for Christmas. Um, I got her these white gloves. I know they're probably going to be obviously way too long. I think I'm going to cut them. And then I got her these shiny black shoes that, you know, they're $3. She can wear them once. Hopefully they fit her. Um, these boots were 10 bucks. They look brand new. Literally. They're size 3s. So hopefully with some thicker socks, she'll be good. And they're just obviously like, what do you call those fashion boots? I got her this shiny silver scarf instead of like a feather boa. Um, just because we're going to be outside and figured, you know, she could wear it around her neck. I do have to like trim it on the bottom. You can see there's like some hanging. And then look at this vintage purse. I think it's a vintage purse. I shouldn't say, but it just looks vintage. I think this was probably for a strap, these little rings. I'm going to have to remove those. But look, like opens. It's like this. Wait, the other side. It's a little scratched on this side. Look, it opens like that. Isn't that so cute? It was $6. I probably spent way too much. 
let's see, eight, six, three, eight, 11. Oh, so like $19. That's not that bad or 20. That's not too bad for a full outfit. Um, I spent 46 total, but um, yeah. And of course I looked for Connor just to see if I could get him some pants and they didn't have any. So um, I'm having an issue finding him some pants that he likes without spending like $50 on them because it's just ridiculous. He's growing too much. He's already in a medium in men's because of his height. So yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you enjoyed my little hauls. Um, stay tuned for my Walmart pickup haul, which I'm picking up tomorrow. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Guys, you know what really irritates me? Our drop-off and pickup lines at school. Because either you got the person who just won't move up all the way to drop off their kid, like at my daughter's school where I thought it was all good, and then you go to drop your kid off and because their kid gets dropped off at let's just say the door that's at the end of the building they're like oh I'm just gonna stop here with a whole bunch of cars behind but it would just make more sense you know just to pull all the way down so you know the line or more cars can get through you know that pisses me off and then the pickup line or actually I should say the drop-off line, even at my son's high school, annoys me as well because, you know, it's kind of like the same principle. You, like, drive in, you go along, like, the building, and, like, you drop off your kid. Well, some of these people, they'll just park on the side, and you think, like, you're kind of in the line going up, and there's, like, no one in there. So they're just stopping traffic, like, on the main street. And then in this Starbucks line that I'm currently in, <laughs> The way they've been set up is really stupid. You have like, you know, your regular way you're supposed to go in, but then there's kind of like a back alleyway where you get like, you know, cars, you know, you're turning here and then you get, let's just put like this way. And then you got like cars coming this way. So I was in, in back of this, um, this car, this SUV and like clearly they could have moved up and now they're taking, they're, they're like rolling so slow. And then now you got two or three cars behind me who are trying to go up with me and then you get people now there's like two two people coming from that back alleyway and they also want to get in so ugh, just one of those like I just want to start my Friday off on a good note and not try to you know get irritated because like you know paydays are kind of exciting I, I get to go shopping and, and be out with humans and stuff and so even though I don't talk to anybody and I do self checkout, but you know what I mean? I get to do like my own thing, you know, but I just want to start off, you know, the day good. So anyways, I hope your Friday's doing awesome. Um, I have a lot of videos coming up. Um, so stay tuned and watch those please and subscribe and, um, share my videos. I want to get the word out there. I want to do like a giveaway once I get to like hundred people that are subscribed um, yeah, and I would love, you know, feedback or video ideas or something. So anyways, I hope you guys have a good Friday. I hope you have a good weekend. I will talk to you soon. Hello, Christmas at Walmart. I had no clue that they were already putting stuff out. I guess probably because I do Walmart pickups all the time. So I was pleasantly surprised to see that they started rolling out their Christmas stuff. Um... Yeah, I was super excited. I usually try to stay away, but you know, it's almost pushing towards um, Halloween. Look at the mini tree stuff. Oh my goodness. Look at the mini trees. Oh my goodness. Like those are like the collars that go around the tree. I'm going to get a collar, I think, for my big tree. I'm done with the tree skirts because all my cats do is just lay on it or puke on it. So I'm getting tree collars. I'm done. But anyways... I was really, really excited to see the Christmas stuff. I don't know what it is about Christmas decorations, but it just makes me feel like a kid. And they have the cutest stuff. I mean, honestly, I'm kind of excited to see it fill out because obvious it's pretty, uh, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be uh, filling in the blanks here since there's a lot of openings. 
just had a bunch of ornaments. They have a lot of outdoor Christmas stuff. Now I've seen in other um, people's videos, um, I'm actually like in a Christmas group and um, they were showing like those big plastic molds. Um, you know, the ones that just light up with like one little light inside. But I don't know. I didn't see them and supposedly they're at the Walmarts already, but they weren't at mine. I don't know where those are. Because I have a lot of Halloween molds, but I don't have any Christmas ones. So I kind of would like some of those. I like these, these little clips. I don't know what to do with them. Someone help me. Tell me what you do with them. I need a new wreath and that one was super cute, but I didn't want to spend, I think it was like $28. I'm almost half tempted to like make my own. I really wanted the snowman. I have an obsession with pumpkins at Halloween and I have an obsession with snowmen. I remember when their ornaments were like two bucks. Now they're two forty-eight. I couldn't decide which one I wanted. My kitchen, I'm not gonna say it's all gingerbread, but I do have like a little gingerbread station. So I'm thinking I wanted that for my tree because I put mini trees up in a lot of rooms. They had really cool ornaments. Look at the pink ones. It was a cute gnome. And I thought these ornaments were nice. What a cute like gift. You could get like each of your kids. And I love the monogram stuff. Every Christmas, I always, um, like, surprise the kids with a new ornament. And then they always get to, like, pick one out, too. I really like this darker theme they have here. I don't know if this is, like, a masculine Christmas um, decor, but I liked the dark green. It's definitely different, or I've never seen it before. <laughs> Look at the sides. I had to compare my hand to it, it's huge. Yeah, see, this is that darker theme. I don't know, this is pretty. I would love to put like a tea light in there, but I really don't, I don't really need much new decorations, not gonna lie. This is a cute sipper cup. How cute. These look like real le uh, wreaths, not leaves, wreaths, but not for 35 bucks, sorry. They had a lot of inflatables, a lot, a lot. Again, I hope they get more. I really wanna get the inflatable light bulbs. Um, yeah, these go fast. So I really just wanted to buy everything already. And especially in my area, these inflatables, they'll, they fly off the shelves. I mean, and who knows, are we still having like a shipment issue? Cause maybe, maybe these things are not going to come in. I, I really don't know. I liked that snowman but he's battery operated and I didn't know how we would turn it on when it's so cold here in Illinois. Those pills felt weird, the square ones. Yeah, so here are the trees. I really like flocked trees, but I don't have one. Here's a rose gold one. I really like it. It looks silver on, or like pewter on the camera. Here's your nativity stuff. Again, I don't do that stuff, but I thought I would show you guys. 
you know, I like to press buttons and stuff. Yeah, it said it was a penny. It, it's not a penny. Obviously, that's a misprint. Yeah, see? They already had a bunch sold. Nope. So I had to grab one. Oh, those trees are glistening. They didn't have much of a village selection. Isn't that cute? I wouldn't buy it. I don't like um, nutcrackers at all. So I'm not a nutcracker fan. I really like this though. That I would buy. But I think I have a mini, I think I have a mini carousel. I think I might go to a different Walmart to see if they have a better village selection. I really want to do like a scene on a wall, a wall scene. Here we go. But I have to find a wall that doesn't have any texture because I think, I don't know. Actually, I don't think our walls have textured here at the new house. Anyways, I'm sorry, I'm rambling. I just wanted to show you guys kind of what they have so far. But they had like the outside section and inside section. Obviously they're pushing already the fall and the Halloween like out. You can hear them in the background like <laughs> working on stuff. Actually, there's a lot of construction going on in our store. I don't know even what they're doing. It's kind of hush-hush with these big white, um, like, drop cloths almost. So it doesn't even say, like, what they're doing. I honestly think it has something to do with pickup. Like, people who want things the same day. I don't know. There's another store that has that. Like, And it, like, there's, like, this machine that, like, brings your items to you it's high tech i don't know how to explain it but maybe that's coming to the store i don't know but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this quick little christmas tour um hopefully they'll have more soon i hope you enjoyed the grocery hauls and the shop with me at aldi i hope you guys are doing good thank you and please like and subscribe and comment thank you